Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about supporting your gears inside the case to keep them from moving around and your backlash changing, which breaks a tooth off. So we're gonna start with the driven gear. I showed you how it rides around that tower in there. This is the stock needle to needle bearing. And as you can see, they're already almost cocked a little bit to the side. What happens is when you're putting a lot of foot pounds of torque to the gear, they're trying to separate in there. So we wanna hold them a little bit better and keep that bearing from locking up and wiping your tower out. So here's the stock bearing that they use. Here's our bearing that we use. This is a heavy duty cage bearing. And what that does is it keeps the needles from cocking to the side. They get a little bit more oil and it reduces the radial runout of the gear in there, which changes your backlash. So we're gonna keep this gear still in there with a better bearing that handles more RPM, more load, and keep the, your driven gear still in the case and on the top cap tower. Because you gotta remember your upper gear set, your top gear rides on the top cap tower. So that's why we use the steel towers, bigger clutch shaft bearings, better bearings inside the gear. So let's talk about the pinion gear for a minute. Now remember I said this is your input gear that goes in the case. Okay, that, those are trying to separate. So, this is not a true rigid pack because you're gonna set your preload on these bearings and then you have a thrust washer. This is a stock one. This is ours, it's heat treated, a lot harder, a lot better material. That rides right there. If you notice, there's still a gap in between the end of that pinion gear and the ledge on this. What we do, is we make a rigid shim kit that goes in there and we measure the distance and the difference is the space that's in there. Then we rigid shim that pack and now your gear cannot be pushed until it butts up against this and let your gear move out. So now this gear is staying in place the whole time and this gear is staying in place the whole time and your backlash between the teeth does not change and you don't break a tooth. It allows these gears to handle a lot more power. Okay, so now we're gonna show you the whole pinion stack and the order that it goes in the case. So we're gonna start, you got your U-joint assembly and you got your spanner nut and seal carrier, which is what holds that U-joint assembly in the case. Okay, that's what screws the whole pinion gear and U-joint assembly into the case and holds it in there. So that goes on the U-joint assembly. And you got your pinion gear that goes on there, okay? The reason why these shims are so important is because we're trying to set this, make this a rigid pack. So I showed you the space in there, it's where these shims go. So now you have your shims in there after you've measured it. You've already set your preload like normal on your bearings. That all goes onto the stack like that. And now you have a complete rigid pack with the spanner nut and everything holding it in the case. One little other thing I wanted to note, these do not come in a factory drive. These are something that we made to make this a true rigid pack so that gear cannot move out and change the backlash, which is super important. That's what makes these gears handle a lot more power. The other thing is all the way, we went all the way down to the pinion nut and washer. Now this is factory. That's ours. So now you have a thick nut or a thick washer and a grade eight nut holding that whole stack together. So now you have the strongest of all the different components that's going in the snout of your case and your pinning gear cannot move. Okay, so now that we've talked about the whole stack and what you can do to make it rigid, and remember this stack goes in the case like so. Another thing I wanted to point out too is there's two different sets of bearings. There's early and late. The late style has a shim so you can, with a ledge on the cup, 
so you can set your pinion depth in there by shimming on that ledge. That's a big difference versus the early set because the early set doesn't have a shim. It's stick it in and hope it's 25 thousandths. I wanna go back to the driven gear for a minute and go over something with you guys. So you got your driven gear stack. We went over the cage bearing that keeps the gear in place, limits the radial run out, handles more RPM, gets more oil, everything, heavier bearing. When your stack goes together and sits in there, the whole stack in the case, that's what your pinion gear is going to. There's one other important piece that goes with that, and that's the collar for the clutch shaft. That's what ties us, there's some keepers, that's what ties this whole stack together as one unit. We make a heavy duty, it's billet, way better alloy, and you wanna put that on there because if that cracks and splits, then your stack comes apart and wipes everything else out. So I just wanna show that's one other piece that we use all the way down to the smallest piece because it's super important. You put all that together and you know, it makes your Bravo a lot stronger. So we've pretty much went over everything in the Bravo upper. We're gonna do the lower, it, it'll be coming up. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.